hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel csop space today in this video uh, we will discuss about how to use fluent validation in dotnet core 8 web api if you are building the apis in dotnet core and want to enhance your validation process then fluent validation is a powerful and flexible libraries you should consider it so i will demonstrate this with some sample uh, project in dotnet core 8 web api, web API. so here i already create one uh, blank project for uh, .NET Core 8 web API uh, project. So first of all, we need to add a new get package for fluent validation. So here we add it. So here I add this by this package manager. You can also add this by running the command from package manager console. So I will add this uh, fluent validation yes .NET Core so click on install and accept now uh, this package will add into this project so we can check it here so this don't worry this and yes, core is installed now in next step uh, we need to add some middleware into the startup file so here uh, this uh, program.cs and here we need to add a pipeline for this so builder dot services dot uh, add controller add controllers and then dot add fluent validation and then slide go then we dot uh, register validation register validation from assemblies on assembly so here this is the automatic registration so you can also use a malware manual validations for each class wise so here i am adding this for uh, automated validations according to their classes so it's a uh, assembly dot get executing assembly then add a semicolon here now in next step uh, i am adding one uh, sample model for uh, demonstrating the fluent validation so i am adding one user class here so it's the user then click on add now i am adding like a, a slim and then and then it's last thing and now it's like uh, I'm adding uh, like a age and uh, so this property is added in next step we add a validations for this so I add a one more uh, one more class here So it's uh, user validation user validator then click on add so here we validate that uh, user properties so first of all we need to add abstract validator abstract validator then pass that uh, object that you want to validate uh, the class properties so now we use constructor for this now we write a rule for each property so so it's like a rule here we use a link you uh, lambda expressions for validating the properties so like it's a user then user dot like a first name first name like a, I said here not empty and here we can use customized messages 
here this provider different types of error code messages name so you can set it here so here i set this message like first name is required first name is required now i'm selecting setting the second rule for it's user user dot like last name and same things like here set this as a not empty with the messages last name is required and then for uh, third parameters so it's uh, say user user dot h h and yet uh, like i said this size are greater than or equal to 18 so greater than or equal to 18 and you can set the message here messages h must be 18 or older it must be 18 or older now i am adding a one more controller this is the uh, template in a folder provider so i am adding one more controller here one more controller and say pi control and here i is uh, add a user controller now i am adding a one method for uh, adding a user it's a uh, public like i x and result i x and result and i could create user and here uh, i am taking the model from from body right so from body and then adding this user object here so uh, this fluent validation is uh, validated before injecting this uh, model glass here and we can also validate this uh, using manual manually and uh, access their messages so like i am adding a validator validator is equal to new user validator and then so where leisure is equal to validator dot validate user and if if uh, result is is valid it's, it's also you can uh, also access their uh, properties so this error error view can uh, this variable uh validation result contain uh, two properties like uh, you can check here is valid and another one like uh, bad request then the result dot errors so this will this will return uh, different errors that uh, occurred into this uh, validator so this will return this and uh, you can also apply their link you queries here to get their messages and different types of uh, conditions now i'm returning a message will you return okay like uh, one simple message here it's like a user created successfully and i'm set this as a post so now we run this application 
so this saga will call and here we can try it out so press the is zero so click on this so this showing the message is must be in our older if we take this first name so this will showing the messages first name is required so we can set anything and here we increase the is from 18 to greater so this set as a user created successfully so this is the simple uh very simple demo for how you can use up to validations in a uh, .NET core 8 so the, this same process apply for other versions for uh, our .NET core so if you have any questions any problems and you want to discuss more uh, any topics in future so please write in comment box i will reply soon and if you like my videos please don't forget to click on subscribe button and also click on notification bell for latest subjects so thanks thanks for watching we will meet in next video session